Hi there, my name is Dong and I'm here at the Science Centre where the search for Singapore's next flying wonder is taking place. Yes, this is the Singapore Amazing Flying Machines competition and it is also where there are tons of flying machines vying for coveted top spot. It's making me very excited so let's go check out some flying wonders. You're my baby, my one and only baby. You're my yo yo, my one and only. Jointly organized by the Defense Science Organization and the Science Center, the inaugural competition attracted 200 teams from close to 100 schools and organizations. Spread out into five categories, contestants battled it out with paper planes unpowered gliders, radio-controlled flights, automated flight crafts and also unconventional aeroplanes. Well, if you're wondering why is there a category dedicated to paper planes, something that seems so much like child's play, well, check this out. Hilt as the paper airplane guy, John Collins holds the record for having a paper plane remain airborne for an astonishing 30 minutes. John was also down in town prior to the competition to share with students that it does take aerodynamical knowledge and application to get good air, even if it's just on paper airplanes. Uh, paper airplanes in particular are, uh, uh, in a way, a perfect, um, a perfect way into science. There's the, the entire scientific method is right there. You can come up with an idea about how to adjust the plane. Uh, that's the hypothesis. Do the small experiment, which is the small adjustment. Throw it, there's your test, and you get instant results. So it's, it's the whole scientific method right there in one small, easy to get to, easy to understand package. Shaping these machines to fly didn't come easy, with some teams starting on the aircraft an entire year prior to this competition. And while some succeeded in their quest for air, Others, well, didn't quite get to stall their landing gears before the crash and burn. And for some of these upstarts, they've even already started planning for their future careers to revolve around the development of aircrafts. We are more into UAVs. We, we want to build those normal conventional ones we are not really interested in. It will be the future of all yeah. the aviation. Even yes. now, military, they are already started it does not need a UAVs pilot. where you don't need a pilot, you can just uh, maneuver through obstacles. Gracing the finale of the competition and presenting the prizes to the champion teams was Minister for Defence Teo Chi Hien. And as for this team, snagging top spot in the paper planes category came very much of a surprise for them. Very happy and excited and we didn't expect to win as we saw other teams have more, med more medals than us then we thought that they will win. But then suddenly the result uh, says that we don't want to win. And so, for the other winners, will they be pursuing to bring their flights to greater heights now that they've established themselves as champion flyers? If there's this competition next year, I'll most likely be another new player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are aiming for more of the championship award. I was told by the organizers that the competition will be back again next year. So for all you flying aficionados, time to start preparing for flight once again. My name is Dong, this has been Cyberpiner TV, and I think there is no better way to end off this video than with what these kids have to say. Let's go, yeah, yeah.